Today I'm going to be sharing how to make a DIY disc bound planner cover along with some dividers. So if you want to learn how to do that, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you heard that intro, today I'm going to be making a DIY planner cover along with some dividers. I have not done this in a while and I wanted to make a DIY cover for October. So I pulled out my things and I decided to go ahead and make it and film it with you. But first, if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your time here. And if you do, I hope you hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I appreciate all of you stopping by and spending some time with me today. So for this project, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your Happy Planner punch if you have it or any type of disc bound punch. You're going to need some lamination sheets. These lamination sheets I picked up from Amazon. They're five milliliter and they were pretty cheap. So that's why I got those. And then you're gonna need your paper cutter, paper trimmer. You can use regular scissors for this project. You don't necessarily need this, but I like to have more of the straight cut. So I use that. And then you're also gonna need, I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then you're also gonna need a paper pad. So this paper pad I picked up at Michael's. Um, I think it was either late August, early September. They had them for $5. And I didn't have too many, you know, fall paper pads. So I decided to pick this one up. I picked up another one as well, but this is the one I'm going to be using for this project. And then in here, you can see I already measured the dividers and the covers so that I have that on hand because the last project I did, I had to keep measuring because I forgot. So I'm, I already have that written down. So let's go ahead and get started. I did pull the pages that I want to use. I'll give you a quick flip through, but I already pulled some of the pages that I want to use for this project. Whoops, I think I hit the camera. Sorry guys. I'll give you a quick flip through of what this looks like because right now I have pages for my cover and then also for four dividers. I may pull some more pages for other dividers. And then I think I'm also gonna pull these in at some point to use those in my planner. So let's see if I can give you guys a flip through of this without hitting the camera again. So this is what it looks like. And again, I already took some pages out. I thought this was really pretty and um, I just wanted to use these colors for October. So let's go ahead and get this started. We will make a planner cover and some dividers. I'm gonna move this out of the way now because I already pulled my pages. Okay, so these are the pages I'm going to use. I think I'm gonna use this for the cover and I need a happy planner cover. Let me grab one real quick. Okay, I pulled this older planner that I have. I need the um, cover along with the divider. So I'm gonna pull four dividers because we're gonna use them as templates. So I'm just gonna pull these out. And this is a planner that I had used. So let me pull those out. I forgot we were gonna need the dividers and the cover just as a template. So I'm gonna move that out of the way now. Let's see. So the reason I wanted this as a template is because this is the page I'm gonna use as my front cover. And because I, I want this in the center and I am gonna make it a classic size, these pages are great if you want to make a big size as well. This actually would be perfect in a big size because the font is a little bit bigger, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. So this is what I'm going to do first. I'm gonna go ahead and cut. So this is gonna be my front cover. This is gonna be my inside cover. And I chose this one. Let me show you here real quick. Let me move these out of the way. I chose this one because I thought that if I wanted to use the inside cover as the outside, I could always do that. So, and then this is gonna be the back cover. So that was my thought with choosing this because I could always use this as the cover and flip it over inside out. So not inside out, but you know what I mean. I guess it is inside out. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to measure this and I'm going to cut one at a time only because those other two I could probably cut together, but this one I'm gonna cut one at a time. And one thing to remember with this, if you have a 
piece of paper that has the quote, you want to make sure that you try to get it somewhat centered. So that is going to be a little bit more challenging when you have something on there. So we know that the width of this cover is seven and a half. So I'm going to try to get as close to the lettering as I can. So let me move it over just a tad bit. I'm trying to get it as close to that where I don't cut it, but it's very close. So I'm going to measure this seven and a half. So here's seven and a half. And let's see, it's going to cut a little piece off there, but I'm, I'm not worried about that because that's where the discs are going to go anyways. Okay, and then here we have to measure nine and a half, but we want to try to get this centered. So if this is 12, let's see, this is 12, of course it's 12. So we need to cut, let's see, we need to cut one, two, yeah, two and a half from each side in order to to make this work. So, so two and a half, so I need one and a quarter from each side. And I'm just trying to figure out. So I need nine and a half, would be 10 and a half, and then a quarter. So it should land right about there. Let's see, if I cut it there, Let me make sure. I think I did my math right. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. So let's take that piece off and then we'll measure here to nine and a half and it should be about centered. Ooh, is it? Let's see. Well, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Um, yeah, that looks centered. That looks pretty centered. And it might be a tad bit bigger, but why is it a tad bit bigger? It shouldn't be. But it's okay, maybe I can take a sliver off of here. It should be, oh, what did I do? It's not even, oh yeah, it is seven and a half. I just made it a tad bit bigger. I'm just gonna take the sliver off. Okay, there we go. Ah, there, now it should be about exact. So then see, you have, you have it the same size as the cover there. And oh, I forgot to mention that you are going to need your corner punch because you want to corner punch this. But I'm not going to do that just yet because I'm going to cut the other piece of paper. And now that I showed you how to cut the paper, I will probably just fast forward through this process so that it doesn't take forever. And then when I make the dividers or when I come back to put it together, I will share that with you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these pieces the same size because this is the cover. So we're gonna go seven and a half to nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yeah, nine and a half. Okay, so I have all my pages cut. So this is gonna be, whoa, what did I do? What did I do? Did I cut that too short? Let's see. Okay, so this is right. Did I cut this one too short or too long? Let's see. I think I cut that one too short. That's nine and a half. What did I do here? I cut this one nine and a quarter. Oh gosh, I cut it, I cut it the wrong size. Okay, I have to grab the other page of this one. So you don't want to do what I do, guys. I just cut that one way too short. So you just have to be careful. I was going a little bit too fast, I think. So seven and a half here. I was going too fast. And nine and a half here. Well, that, let's make sure. Yeah, that's right. But it still looks short to me. Okay, so now we have these. So we're going to go ahead and adhere them. And I forgot to mention that you're gonna need some adhesive. So you could use a glue stick or the adhesive tape. 
So I have my adhesive tape here. This is one, this is a dot glue runner, but I'm gonna use it because I don't have any other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these together and you wanna make sure that your page is going in the same direction. So this one is, so let's go ahead and just put some of this glue stuff. And again, this is probably not the best one, but it'll work for this. I didn't realize it looks blue. So I just wanna get some on the corners here. Okay. And I probably didn't need that much because I'm going to, I'm going to laminate it eventually. So now we want to get these as, as lined up as close together as possible. So let's try to do that. Whoops. And I don't know. Okay. Okay. I think that looks good. It might be a little bit off on the bottom. But that's okay. You can always come and trim it up if you want to. So there's that. Now let's try this other one. And then this is going to be the back side. So this is going to be the inside. I'm not even going to put that much like this. Well, I'll put enough. Oops. See what it just did there. And you just want to put whatever you think is going to be needed. But again, you're going to laminate it, so I don't think it needs to be too, too much. And you want to get it again. You want to line it up as close as possible to the other page. Now, see, this one I didn't line up as great. Let's see. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit on the edge here, but you can always cut that off. If you don't want to use the the trimmer, just take your scissors and and trim it up here as close as you can without cutting the other piece of paper. And even you don't really have to trim it, but when you go to punch it, if it's if it's a little bit off, you're going to see that in the punch. So, that's the only reason why I'm doing that. Okay, so that doesn't look bad. Let's see, do we need it anywhere else? No, it's not too bad. I can probably cut it up here, but it looks good. So this is gonna be the back. Okay, so now we're gonna take this here and we're gonna punch it. I mean, not punch it, we're gonna corner it. Okay, so we're gonna corner these corners. Okay, so that doesn't look bad. Now let's grab the front cover and we're gonna take a look here. Looks pretty good. There's a little spot here I could see. It needs a little bit of trimming. And again, you don't wanna trim too much because... Okay, so then we're gonna corner these edges too because this is gonna be our cover. And we're not gonna punch it yet because we're gonna laminate that, but we're going to set this aside for now so that we can make the dividers. So this is gonna be our cover. I already like the way that looks. I'm gonna set it aside for now because we want to finish cutting for our dividers. So for our dividers, the regular divider is nine and a quarter by seven inches without the tab but we wanna count for the tab because we're gonna cut the tab out. So in order to do this, we have to go nine and a quarter length and seven and three eighths tab. So I could actually cut these together. As long as I don't cut it wrong, I'm in good shape. So let's go ahead and cut these together. So we're gonna do seven and three eighths. So, let me figure this out because, so this is a quarter, so this is an eighth, one, two, and three eighths. So seven and three eighths. Are you still seeing this? Oh, my battery is running low. I might have to plug it in. Okay, so this is seven and three eighths. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these. And then we are gonna go to nine and a quarter. 
nine and a quarter. Okay, let's just double check to make sure that's the size. Where are my dividers? But it should be pretty, oh, what? Oh yeah, that's right. See, because I was like, wait, they're too wide. But see, I left a spot so that we can cut around the, the divider, okay? So that works. So I'm gonna put these aside and we're gonna move on to the next one. So this one is kind of different and I wanted to use this, but I'm gonna have to kind of cut this off and I'm okay with that. I just still wanted to use it as a divider. So we're gonna go move that out of the way. Seven and three eighths. So seven, there's one eighth, two eighths and three eighths. So seven and three eighths. And that's such a pretty floral too. And then we're going to go nine and a quarter. Okay, so there's the second one. And I'll go ahead and fast forward this since I'm doing this now. Okay, so that is the dividers. We have them cut out. So, I oh no, I still need this. I was thinking I didn't need that. But let me bring them back in here. So this one looks kind of odd because I cut it, but it's okay. I could put a quote or something there if I wanted to. So now what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that this is straight. And I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue them together first. So we're gonna glue these together because they need to be glued. And it's the same process as the last, the cover. I probably should have brought more of these <laughs> glue runners. So I'm gonna put these together. So we have those together. I'm gonna to do the same process for the rest of them. So I'm gonna speed this up. guys that didn't have too much I thought it was gonna have more than that I ran out of that dot thing I didn't know it was gonna have that little so I'm gonna use my glue stick for this last one and this is good because it shows you that you could use a glue stick too I didn't think that was gonna have that little now I'm going to go ahead and wipe this because I don't want it to, to be bulky. And then I'm going to just clean my hand. Now we're going to line this one up the same way. Okay, so there's that. So these are going to be my dividers. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to, we know that the divider itself is seven inches. So we need to mark these. And I'm gonna use a pencil for this so that I can erase it. So I have the dividers here. And how do they go? Did I do this? I put them out of, oh. I mixed them up, let's see. Okay, so these are the dividers. So this is the way we are going to do to uh, set them. And now you need to decide how you want these to go so that you can put the right tab on it. So I think I'm going to, I 
I think I'm going to use it like this. But one of these I think I'm going to turn around. And I think it's going to be this one so that the punch is there. I have to decide how I want these. So that's what I'm trying to do. So let's see if I do it this way. Maybe this one I'll turn around. No. Because I actually want this side to be punched, so I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to turn this one around, and I'm going to leave those like that. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. We are going to trace this and use a pencil because you're going to have to see where you want to cut it. You could trace it on, well, if you trace it on this side, then you need to make sure that you still put it in the right spot. So we're going to trace around this. And I would just press really light so that, and you can see it's still a little bit wide. I didn't realize that. So we're gonna trace around there. There's that one. I don't wanna mix these up, so. Let's see, did I do that right? Yes. And then this one we're gonna trace here. And you can see they're probably a little bit bigger, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be exact, exact. So I probably measured a little too, too um, long, but that's okay. I'm still gonna cut it on that. So we're gonna leave that one. So that one goes there. And then this one we want like this, right? No, wait, hold on. So if this one is going this way, So, and it's okay if you draw on this because, like I said, we can just come back and erase it. So just don't mark it too, too dark. And I'm still deciding if I want to make more than four, but if you do decide, this is the same process to make them. Okay, so now we're just going to cut these. So I can take these out now. And we're going to cut them. So for, for the long piece, I am going to use a trimmer because I want the line straight. Whoops. Because I, I want that line straight. But I'm going to have to remember to cut. You know what I'm going to do actually first? I'm going to cut here. I'm only doing that so that when I cut here, I don't overcut, if that makes sense. Because I don't want to overcut. And I can't really tell where this blade is. See, it's right there, but that's okay. I'm going to just cut that little piece. Now, if you can tell where your blade ends and cuts, then you don't have to do this part, but I couldn't tell, so that's why I picked it up there. And then you're just going to fussy cut around this tab as best as you can. If you, I need to get my smaller scissors. I think the smaller scissors would work better. Oops, I didn't mean to cut that piece. If you just saw that, I didn't mean to do that. But now I guess I'm gonna have to. I was just gonna leave it as big as it was, but I accidentally cut that. So there you have a tab. As you can see, I can come back with my little fussy cut scissors and clean it up a little more because I can tell that I, I need to get closer here. So we're gonna do that same process for the rest of them just following the marks that you already made oh i forgot to trim this up before i make the cut so i'm just going to cut around here just so that i don't overcut because i do tend to overcut with this with this trimmer let's 
So let's see here. And I'll probably just go ahead and forward this, fast forward this so you don't have to see this process since we've already done it. So if you see here, if I hadn't cut the other one, let's see how much different it is. It's not that big. Um, see, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece because I cut the other one. Otherwise, I would have just left it. I can't keep my scissors right here. Okay. Oh, now I'm wishing I would have done it this way because it's going to cut my pumpkin off. I'm going to do that one different. If you see, I don't want to cut the pumpkin, so I think I am going to do it this way instead. So is this the right one? Yes, this is the right one. So I'm going to move it this way, guys. Only because I, I hadn't noticed that. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind is if it's going to cut if it's gonna cut your design off. I didn't want it to cut the design off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way instead. And good thing I thought about that before I cut through it. And don't worry about the lines because we're going to come back and erase them. And this one I think I had cut a little too, too big. Okay, so that looks better. And I'm going to erase these lines over here so we don't need to worry about that. So this one goes, what did I do here? Oh no, did I do this wrong? Oh no, I thought I had done it wrong. Okay, so we have three dividers so far. And now we are gonna work on this last one. Whoa, I almost cut into that. It was a little bit close there. This one is a little harder to see because the darker color. See the lines, I mean. Okay, that one was a little bit harder to see. So now what you can do is just take an eraser and if you still see the lines, you probably shouldn't see them too much, but if you do still see them, you could just erase it. Not a big deal, that's why we did them really light. Okay, I think I did them all. Let's see, how did I have these in order? Oh, this one was first, this one was left. So there you have your dividers. And you see, I still have some, oh, I need to erase this one, that's right. Because I forgot I was gonna use this side and then I decided not to use this side. So that's your dividers, look how pretty that is. Whoops, this one goes here. And if you wanted to make more, you could just follow that same process that we just did. And you can, I'm, I'm gonna clean these up a little bit cause like this one, I didn't corner it right. So um, there's just a few little things that you can do to clean it up. But other than that, it looks really good. These, the, the dividers do not have the corners rounded. So I'm not going to round my corners. I just wanted to mention that too. But the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to bring the laminator in so we can laminate the covers and then we're going to punch everything and then we should be done.
so while we're waiting for the laminator to to heat up it's kind of dirty there I'm going to go ahead and punch these because we need to punch them so I'm going to get this as close as possible here so that you can see that and I know I'm not in total frame let's see if I can move this back a little bit more okay and we're just going to punch it And the way I'm punching it, because I'm at a weird angle. Oh, my laminator is smoking. What's going on? You see that smoking? I don't know why it's doing that. So I'm just going to punch these and then we're going to laminate it. Oh. Okay, so those are all punched now. We're ready to go with those. Okay, guys, something is going on with my laminator, so I'm going to have to readjust this and then I'll be back when I get my pages laminated. Okay guys, I'm back. So where I left off is I was trying to laminate my cover and I was having trouble with the laminator. But when I finally got to laminate my covers, I forgot to hit the record button. So I did laminate the covers. I laminated them with five mil uh, sheets but I doubled the sheet so now it feels pretty thick it feels like a 10 mil now so um, I did double them up if you do double yours up uh, I I have to tell you to do that at your own risk because depending on what type of laminator you have I don't know how it would work but my laminator does allow for me to put it through there twice you can see that I think it was even a little tight on there because I have a little line right here that I could barely see but so this is going to be my cover and look how pretty that came out you can see that when you double them up too you can especially see it here that it does get a little bit more foggy when you double the lamination up so just keep that in mind as well it looks like i had something on my cover right there but now i'm going to go ahead and cut this down and then we will be done i think i'm going to move these out of the way too and I apologize for not sharing the lamination with you, but it's just putting it through the machine. So it's not anything too big of a deal there. So now I'm just going to cut this down and I'm going to cut it fairly close. I can see where the lamination ends right there. So I'm going to cut it there because I don't want to cut into that little bubble. I'm trying to see right here. I don't want to cut into that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it right there. Whoops. And you know what I forget? Um, I forget to hold down this thing so it doesn't slide. So let's see. Well, I think I need to press a little harder. Okay, there it is. So you see there, um, you could see it there. I probably could have got a little closer. I just don't know because of the double lamination. So I'm gonna cut it like that for now. And I'm going to turn this around so I have the straight edge on there. And I'm going to try to get close here. I hope I don't open that up. Actually, I'm going to do it just like that. So now we're just cutting this off to make it, to make it even there. And then I have one last piece here to cut. And I'm trying not to cut into that lamination bubble that ha it has there. Oops, I should have held on to this. I think it moved a little. So this one might be a little crooked. Yeah, it is. I, I can see it there. I, I didn't hang on to the, to the guard right here. So it kind of moved on me. But there we go. So we have it there. And it looks like I probably will have to cut this top portion off because that's way too big. I didn't think I was gonna have to, but we're going to. 
Okay, so now we have the cover. I could probably cut a little more if I wanted to, but there's that one. So we're gonna leave that one to the side. And I really do like the way that cover came out. Let me turn it this way. And then this is what the back looks like. Okay, so now what I could do is, let me grab that cover so we can compare it. So I wanna compare the cover with it because you can see, yeah, that's about right. Once I co corner those, those edges, it's gonna be right about right. So look at, look at that. I may need to cut this a little more because I think this piece needs a little more here. And I don't wanna cut into that lamination but I could tell it was a little crooked. I think it needs a little more. Okay, I think that's good. I can come back and fix that, but look at, let's take a look here. Look at, that is actually perfect. It's the perfect size. And then if we look at this one, I may have to trim this one down a little. Yeah, I'll have to trim the bottom, but the top looks good. So I'm gonna trim the bottom just a tad bit more. And I think it's a little bit off because I put the double laminate and I was trying not to cut through the, the bubble there. But other than that, it looks good. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. Now we're gonna get the, the corner punch. Let me move this out of the way. And now we are just gonna take the corner punch and we're gonna punch it. And we're gonna do the same for the other one. And this is the back side. I probably could have got a little bit closer to that edge, but I think it works out perfect. Look at that. So this is my cover, guys. Look at, as you can see, it's the exact same size as the Happy Planner. Mine might be a little bit taller, but I'm okay with that because it's just about the same size. It might be just a tad bit. No, I don't think so. Let's see. This is the cover. Yeah, it's actually the same size. I think it's just the laminate. I, I need to cut that down just a tad bit more. But now what we're gonna do is we are going to punch the holes. And I do not recommend using the Happy Planner punch for this process because that Happy Planner punch may not punch through this. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this, this feels a lot thicker than this. And it could be that this is maybe like a seven milliliter. Um, I don't know, but this to me feels thicker and I did two five milliliter sheets. So definitely do not use your Happy Planner punch because I would hate for you to have that ruined. Believe me, I have had to deal with my punch at one point because I punched something with it and it took forever to unjam it. I did get it unjammed, but um, it was quite the process. So I do not recommend punching with a, let me make sure, with a Happy Planner punch. I'm making sure that I have this right because can you imagine if I would have punched it backwards? So I'm trying to line this up because that's how I, I make my punches. I line it up here and, and then I do the punch. And I use this We Are Memory Keeper punch because that just works good for me. And then once you get the first one, you can let that down, but you need that first one to guide you. And there you have nine punches. So let's see how this compares to that. 
So it's actually perfect. Now, when you're punching the back, you don't wanna use this as a template. You wanna use the one you already punched because you want to make sure that they're going to be exactly the same. So that's just a quick tip. Just use the one you already punched so that you can punch the back. And you wanna line it up as, as even as possible so that when you make that first punch, because you wanna get it straight there. So now I'm gonna set this here and you see it moved. You could clip it if you want to make sure that it doesn't move on you. I'm just gonna to try to hold it a little tighter and I'm going for it. So let's make sure, hopefully that's, yeah, you see that? It's exactly there. So you wanna to try to get it to be exact so that way when you put the disc on there you don't have any issues with the disc and this punch right here guys if you don't have it it is a great investment especially if you're making your own you know covers or dashboards for your planner because as you can see it punches through there very easily so this is it guys this is my this is my um DIY cover and dividers. These are the dividers we made. Let me go ahead and show you again real quick. So this is the front cover and I think that is so pretty. This is the back, the inside cover and then this is my back cover. So that's what I chose to make mine with and I'm going to be using this for the month of November grateful and thankful I thought that was perfect for the month of November and then this is what the dividers look like so here's one of the dividers front and back and then you have this one here this one is really pretty front and back and then you have this one here and this one's kind of awkward I may put a quote here because I cut that circle piece off and um, it does look a little bit awkward, but I really did like these pumpkins down here with the floral, so that's why I wanted to use it. And then I have another one of these, and then that's the back. So I have four dividers and the cover. And if I needed to make more dividers, I can definitely make more dividers. Let me move this down here um, so you can see there. And I'm gonna turn, well, let me just pick this up. Um, but yeah, so I can make those at a later time if I wanted to, but that's it for now. I can't wait to use this in November. I think it turned out really great. And if you decide to make these, just make sure that when you're measuring and you're cutting, that you're uh, taking your time with that because if you cut the wrong size, then obviously you'll have to use another piece of paper. Luckily, the paper pads that I had did have two sheets of paper, but um, that's it. That is my cover, and I really, really love this one. It is so pretty, and I think it's going to be perfect for November. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to drop me a comment below and let me know if you're planning to make your own covers. It is an easy process, but it does take a little time and patience. But once you're done with it, it actually can turn out really pretty and you have a unique cover and dividers for your planner. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay creative, be gracious, and I will share again with you soon.